Hey y'all, so I was gonna save this for the end, but technically this is the end of the vlog, but I'm gonna put this at the beginning because I know a lot of you guys do not look at my entire vlogs, which is totally fine. Um, I wanna say this and I'm gonna make it real quick and then we're gonna get into the vlog. Excuse my face, I got acne cream on. I think that a lot of times, oftentimes, those of us who have a lot of people looking to us for support, especially family members, and I, I'm sorry, but sometimes your family can be real draining, right? They don't mean to be, but bless their heart, they can be. Especially if you are a parent to multiple children, if you are a grandparent, if you are a brother, sister, hell, even a friend, and a lot of people come to you, and oftentimes, you have your own issues that people don't really know about. So I'm just here to tell you that you don't have to have it all together. I think that especially as black women, black people, we think that we should have it all together. We wear all these different hats, uh, but you don't have to. Hey everyone, look at this hair girl. Shrinkage, shrinkage, shrinkage. I'm gonna go ahead and do some type of twisted updo because my ass ain't recording no videos for a good two weeks, yeah. Um, yeah, I've recorded enough to where I should be good for the next two weeks. Anyway, it is Friday. It's Friday and I'm ready to swing. We good this week. Um, y'all, I need to somehow. Hi. Okay, I'll show them you, baby. Hold on. I don't want them seeing my girls. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get ready for school soon, boo boo. Last night, my husband and I ate. Girl, I cooked Ethiopian food. I'm, I literally made like five or six dishes and while he, I was sleeping. Yeah, while JB was napping and my husband helped me to cook. And so with the both of us going hard at it, it took two and a half hours to get it done. You want to talk about throwing down, I'll show you. Again, I'm so sweet. Mm -hmm. we, will go to the, we will go to the train park and we got some ice cream at the train park. Yeah? Yeah, baby. Yeah, JB got, got in trouble this week at school. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say much because I don't want to embarrass the baby, but we did better. It's okay, JB. What is that, baby? Part of your Legos? Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning. Can you say hi, darling? Y'all have to excuse hi. our living room. So how Miss Miss Teresa wanted to ask you how how you're like in school? Can you say hi to Mrs. Ruiz? Hi. <laughs> so cute. So um, we did have a little issue last week. One day, um, they have a system to where green means they they have an agenda. So in the agenda, the teacher marks the colors. Green means good. Yellow means we need to slow down and think about some things. And red means you need to send your child to a boarding school in South Africa. So JB got a no. yellow. <laughs> JB unfortunately got a yellow last week, but we talked about it and we're gonna work on, he's good, but um, we're gonna be going to an indoor playground today, y'all. I am losing inches, I think. Um, I, the scale is not moving girl mm -hmm. at all, but I haven't gained any weight, I haven't lost any weight, but my clothes are fitting differently. Like for we went out to dinner for my birthday or for our birthday my pants were way too big and i purchased those pants last year they fit they're way too big i don't think i may be in between a 12 and 14 as far as pants go right now because like my 14s are way too big for me even my workout clothes are fitting big so that's good so i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing um sorry um <laughs> I lost headspace. Didn't I say I would stop shopping a couple of couple of days ago? But then I forgot, girl, I forgot that I was going on my trip or our trip to Texas and I needed some stuff. Well, we needed some stuff. So I have literally spent close to $200 on Amazon. Amazon is the devil. Speaking of Amazon, and I'll go back to that. We were at Whole Foods last week picking up some stuff to cook. And at the cashier, when they at the register, Sorry, y'all, he's playing this thing. Let me go in here. At the register, they were like, are you with Amazon Prime? And I'm like, no, my ass should be as much as I shop. He's like, oh, because you get 20% off on, on sale products. And I was like, oh, we need to go ahead and do that. Now we don't go to Whole Foods. Oh, sorry, y'all. Do I look light skin? I'm not trying to look, look light skin. Anyway, 
Um, I look ashy as hell in this the, this setting, but it's okay. Basically, they give you 20% off at Whole Paycheck if you have Amazon Prime, and then for certain products that are on, it's only for stuff on sale. For certain items that are on sale, you can get buy one, get one free. That is a killer deal, and that's because I'm sure most of us know by now that Amazon actually purchased Whole Foods. Um, so anyway, been buying some stuff through Amazon, girl. I mean, all types of random stuff. Uh, JB is having issues with his sinuses, so I bought him another saline rinse. I bought him some toys. I know he doesn't need. I bought him another set of headphones for our trip. Sorry, y'all. I'm moving around because he's in there all on me. So, um, just buying a bunch of stuff. But some, some things that I did purchase, I went ahead and purchased the last few products that I'm going to be doing a review before I call it quits on these product reviews, and that's Soul Tentacles. They have a lot of mixed reviews, y'all. So I did not buy any cleansing products. I did not buy any deep conditioners. I just purchased two of the styling, that knot sauce and a um, twisting type butter because I don't trust their their washing or cleansing products, I should say, by Soul Tentacles. I got that. I bought two pairs of shoes, but they were cute. They were like only $15 each. I bought them in different colors. I, like I said, I'll show y'all everything when it comes in. Hold on. JB, don't do that. <laughs> I am ginormous. <laughs> Girl. Anyway, um, yes. I know I'm all over the place. So today we will be going to love to play, but I want to give you guys a tip when it comes to, because as you can see by now, I do a lot with JB. Uh, we don't stay inside. I think that this is one of the... We, we I think car, that they're... When we're in the car... We are, baby. Like, like, put it looking at the window when we're driving. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll do driving. that, baby. I'll do that. He wants y'all to see sit the scene. Sit it at the window. Mm-hmm. Sit it looking at the window. I'll have to use I'm yours, sure. though, because yours is better for that. This one's a little wobbly, so I'll use yours. That's a good idea. I'll do that. Um... I think one of the, uh, I think there are a lot of children who are misdiagnosed as having ADD. No, 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 no. Those kids don't have ADD. They are not, the parents aren't doing anything. And it's not really necessarily the parents' fault. They, maybe they don't know. I believe that the parents are not doing enough to expose their children and to get that energy out. There is no way I'm going to sit in, in a house with a child all day. Go check the mail. Oh, let's do something inside but especially for JV I know my child he needs to go out the house so we're going to love to play so this is a tip we go to a lot of different places we have hit up nearly every indoor playground in Phoenix one of the tips that I do is I dress JB in a bright colored top I don't dress I try to avoid white I try to avoid black I do red I do blue I do um, uh, orange sorry or yellow so that way if i need to find him real quick i know that my baby's is in the orange shirt if Mom, i do white i'll be looking for him forever stole Ryan's TV. i'll be looking for him forever because there's a lot of kids with white shirts child you know what i'll be one jb i'll be wanting to snatch him up sometimes you i know we always warn him that he's lucky you got I, I read this thing. good you got a mama from the south and a daddy from africa you lucky that we I, haven't snatched you all the way up camped you all the way up. i snatched this thing up by now we have all heard of aretha mm -hmm. uh, franklin passing y'all I, I i got a little teary out there for a minute because i was just watching the got to be real parodies i know y'all seen them i was just watching that literally two days before she passed i love got to be real y'all i wish that she would come back um and they would make those videos because it's so funny um i was just watching that and to hear from her when I found out that her, the parent, the family was coming to say goodbye, because this is not the first time she's been close to death. I mean, this is like the second or third time in a couple of years. But when they said the family were saying goodbyes and hospice was there, it's a wrap. Well, I'm surprised that people didn't know that she had cancer. She had cancer. Yeah, she it was that rumor came out a while back and she denied it. You know, she said she's in good health, everything's okay, but then she started losing weight very rapidly. I'm like, oh gosh, you know, it's her business, but. One thing that is starting to really bother me, not really bother me, but I'm like, so disrespectful. 
there have been a couple of videos on YouTube about her secret life and the fact that she had children at a young age. She got pregnant when she was only 12. And I'm like, this stuff has been on Wikipedia for years. And why are y'all dragging this woman? That is so disrespectful because you, 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 you never talk about the dead one. Number two, they can't defend themselves. They're not around to defend themselves. So just disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, we are in excuse the um car because the the ac is on because it's hot it's already 97 it's supposed to be hot 100 degrees i did a little light beat girl i don't want to give them a too much we're gonna talk about that in a minute baby hold on but i do a little light beat and i don't wear makeup a lot i don't want to give them too much okay because i don't need y'all turning around looking that back at me you know turning into salt like lots wife and family so <laughs> So um, but let's now, talk about the nightmare. So, hold on, baby. Hold on, hold on. Mm, Y'all, sorry, got to get some water. And sorry about that. Excuse that dialogue between me and my child. But one thing that I cannot stand, and he's learning do not talk when I don't, don't over talk on me. And don't interrupt adults. He's really he's gotten really good about doing that now. Cause y'all can see I could talk to y'all for a while and he'll hush up. You are a child and I need for you to hold off and wait until I'm done talking and don't <laughs> So what you wanna tell me about baby? The nightmare was actually spreading on my hands. Oh my and that you know, like I was singing something in my brain when I was like bear show. My God. Okay, like, oh, go, 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 go. Mm, Jesus. Oh, go, 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 go. My word. All right, y'all. We are on go, our way to go, the thing of Come on. I just, I just almost won that game. You did? So we are done with love to play. I stopped by McDonald's to get JB uh, something to eat. Y'all, I don't eat McDonald's, but I will drink their drinks. Um, uh oh, this is good. Ciao. Hold on, let me get. They used to serve, sell, our turtle macchiato. They would give Starbucks a run for their money. Hold on, let me drink some of this down. They filled it up too high. Let me hush up. We got some errands to run. We have to go to Walmart because we're going to a birthday party next week. Um, I already I already ordered the little girl's birthday present, but I need to order, I need to pick up the bag and tissue. Now, normally I go to the Dollar Tree, but the last time I went to the, to the Dollar Tree to get a gift bag, it broke. Like, I'm gonna go, no, let me go ahead and spend a, a dollar, an extra dollar, and get something of quality. And then I gotta pick up some stuff. And then we gotta go to Staples, but well, I don't need you acting crazy. I need to go to Staples and to um, make copies of his vaccination records for his school. And that's it, y'all. We're going home. I, I'm really excited. And then I will ride on the car. No, you ain't doing that. Are you gonna get a first, uh, first hand spanking? Um, no! Mm, I'm excited about what I'm cooking later on. Something new, something something carb friendly, and um, because yeah, I had a pizza for lunch, a little individual pizza, but still. And then I'm having this sugary drink. So the next time I eat, it needs to be pretty good. That's what I'm really learning, you pizza's guys. Not is good. thank you. He said pizza's not good for you. I know that. So one of the things I'm really learning is that if you want to eat something, if you really want to eat something. Eat it before one o'clock. Eat it earlier in the day. Don't eat it around five, six, seven, God forbid, seven or eight o'clock. Don't eat it that late. I had that pizza around 11. Eat it that late. No, that so later on today, I, I have a recipe I came up with. Girl. So y'all, I'm gonna make something really, really new. It's a lot of stuff out here. I know, I know. This is not an official cooking video because this is an original recipe. Basically, I'm gonna be making a carb-friendly Asian-style nachos. Now, I've seen people do this with ground turkey, beef, to where they basically use these little mini peppers as opposed to tortilla chips for nachos. So this is what I'm thinking, y'all. I got some ground chicken here. I'm gonna season it up with stuff like turmeric, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, some coriander. 
I have a little bit of orange sauce here. I have some um, chili paste. I have some orange juice. Oh girl, this is, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the orange juice in here too with the orange sauce, but this is, this is awesome. I'm gonna make me some mimosas, girl. I'm gonna do a little bit of honey to offset the heat. I'm gonna do some cabbage. The cabbage is gonna wilt it away. This is that coleslaw. I already sliced up with some carrots. I'm gonna do some of that. I'm gonna do some green onions. I'm gonna do some purple onions. I'm gonna do some jalapenos, bell peppers, ginger. Then I'm gonna do some, um, sweet corn i haven't done that before but since this is mexican inspired slash chinese i know girl we're gonna do that then i have some what are these water chestnuts i'm gonna do a side of cauliflower i think and then over here we have i like to have crunchy oh stuff when i'm eating stuff hold on baby so i'm gonna slice up some cucumbers now for my husband then what i'm going to do is I'm gonna spoon the chicken on top of a salad. So we have some romaine, romaine lettuce here, slice up some carrots, some tomatoes, and then I'm gonna do wonton strips. So yeah, that's gonna be, yeah, this is not an official cooking video, but we're gonna make it work. And I'm gonna go ahead and fix my drink. All right, y'all. So I'm at Staples. Let me turn off my car just for a hot minute because the camera, of course, is not. There we go. I'm at Staples. I had to do a little something, y'all. I keep makeup, y'all. My nickname in college was, and this isn't really, it doesn't mean what you think it is, but it was Pretty Puss. Miss Pretty Puss. I was your stereotypical Southern Belle makeup for God's hair big um it's so funny and I, I i stayed with that up until i had a child and then went out the door but there were only a few people who actually saw me without my makeup i was like dolly parton you ain't gonna see me without my hair big and my makeup beat my face beat i mean so yeah there was only a few people who had ever seen me without any makeup now about sixteen thousand of you have us have seen <laughs> so now i'm like it is what it is baby it's hot y'all hold on let me i'm going to turn on this or something what you see in the back is my neighbor was putting some stuff out and i was like uh excuse me tom <laughs> my neighbor is named tom i said uh oh, i'm gonna need that so i think i'm gonna use some of this for jb's costume yeah i know what to do I know exactly what I'm gonna be using it for. Yeah, I am tired, I am tired. So we ain't gonna be doing hardly anything today. I did tell JB I would take him to Raisin Cane. Girl, that child, you know, kids at this age, they can eat the same thing over and over. <coughs> um, <coughs> so we will take Raisin Cane and go to Panera Bread. Okay, because I want to have a salad and that's it. Ooh, y'all sorry. I'm also going to talk about, yeah, I'm trying to catch, I don't know why, but Iyana, is that how you pronounce her name? Iyana Fix My Life. She makes me laugh, y'all. She makes me laugh. But sometimes when I look at her <laughs> the videos, I think of the Got To Be Real parody. So I have to stop doing that. But I caught bits and pieces of the last of Nephi and Shelby. Those of you who don't know, Nephi. I don't know her real name. I think her real name is beautiful, by the way. It's almost like Nefertiria, but they call her Nephi. She is the sister of Keisha Cole. I need to catch the second season of the second second episode. So I watch. <laughs> Y'all, when I tell you Nephi needs to get her shit together, which is why she's on the show, right? I watched the first 15 minutes and I had to stop watching it because the woman confessed to wanting to have oral sex with someone other than her husband. I'm like, you hood rat hooker. I. <laughs> wow. So you need, you, you feel the need to have some type of validation from a other man other than your husband, some type of intimacy I get. But you went asked for to admit on national TV that you wanted to perform oral sex. I'm like, oh, you. Let's just open up our books to Timothy and just pray for this sister. 
wow i couldn't watch it i may i may watch it later on but at that when she admitted to that i was like oh let me let me catch this later on but then the, the most recent episode episode is of a woman who i think she's in her 30s and she admitted to having six kids by five different men now i know that episode is about to hurt a lot of women's feelings a lot of folks but this is the thing you guys i feel like nowadays having children out of wedlock and and going even a step further having children by multiple men it's acceptable now it's accepted it's okay it's almost like a badge of honor i just had my baby because quiet as it kept when i had my child excuse me when i told my family i was pregnant i was embarrassed i didn't want to tell them but don't you know there were a couple of family members who was like about time and i'm like but i'm not married you know and i was 30 34 33 at the time and i was legitimately embarrassed because i'm now pregnant and i'm not i'm not married and they were like well by time girl we were waiting on you to have a baby no no it is not you know it things happen you know you're you know either you're married and you get a divorce and then you have a, a child by another man it's happened it's happened to a couple of my friends but at what point does it become a problem on in all honesty fourth child fifth child you know at a certain point you would think that you would close up shut look it only took one time one time for me to be like oh, okay this is no we ain't gonna be having no more kids but like i said you know everyone has their own story but at a certain point you need to so i need to catch that episode and like i said i know it's gonna ruffle some feathers and a, a couple of you probably don't agree with what i'm saying right now but like i said society has accepted this it used to be hell when my, when my mom was pregnant with me it was an embarrassment. My mom was not married. She got pregnant at 17. My grandfather sent her away to live with her older sisters until she had me. I was born in Ohio. Then my parents got married later on. But in the 80s, you couldn't be walking around. It happened. Let's just be real. It happened. But they didn't walk around with their belly swole. Like, yeah, girl, my baby daddy went no baby daddies. You know, that term is new. Um, and from what I understand, in the 50s and 60s, when women got pregnant out of wedlock, you definitely, first of all, you if you got pregnant, you definitely want to get married or that baby was going up for adoption. Um, who was that? I know some weird stuff like Ted Bundy's mom got pregnant. Yeah, I know, I went from that to serial killer. But this is just an example. Ted B Bundy's mom, the famous serial killer, his mom had him out of wedlock, but she went to a home, especially for women who weren't married, to have that baby and then gave him up for adoption. You know, and I'm not trying to get graphic. When son <laughs> You are allowing a man's seed to be in you, multiple men. But I think that this young woman, a few times she was actually raped. Like I said, everyone's different. But when you make a conscious decision to have unprotected sex, and I'm, I'm talking to adults here, so disclaimer, 18 and over. You made a conscious decision, decision to have unprotected sex with multiple men. Their seed is now implanted. That seed comes with a life force. Y'all, you want to talk about soul ties? Let me get off of my, my stool here and let me go print out this stuff. But, you know, I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers myself, but we got to get it together, family. <laughs> it's dark. I don't think they can see you that well. Eat. 